music of the year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. My confidence. I'm very happy. Yes, anxious, but I present. <laughs> I have a conference that I need to present in tomorrow as part of my medical school degree and it's assessed so I have to pass it if I want to become a doctor. So I'm here in the library to print out some stuff to design the display I'm given at the conference. <laughs> There's literally no one left at the uni other than medical students because every other degree has finished their exams and gone home, started their summer. Only medical students still have exams to do, but hopefully it will be done soon as well. I can't wait. This conference is part of our... This conference is part of our Doctors as Teachers unit. You teach something and get feedback on it. And for that, I made a video on skincare and I even posted it on my channel to hopefully help as many people as possible. And I'll link it here if you want to watch it. But now I need to edit the transcript of what I'm going to say at the conference and practice as much as possible. Um, by the way, the presentation is timed, so I can only speak for five minutes and if I exceed the time, it's not good. So I'm going to time myself now. Why did I choose this topic? Well, firstly, I'm really interested in dermatology and I've suffered from acne in the past. And at the time, I read lots of papers on PubMed about skincare. I need to go because it's my flatmate Emmy's birthday and we're going to celebrate it together and watch Love Island and eat cake and stuff. And I don't want to be late for that. Thank you. I didn't know you were in that house. Yeah, I was in the library. I chose the worst <laughs> picture of myself. <laughs> I must say. Go in. Happy to the This guy got roasted with the way he got it. I grew the garlic from the garlic bread. I'm really excited. It's really good. Thank you, Clara. It's because I grew the garlic. Yeah. <laughs> it's organic. Good morning. Yeah, I have bottom. I need to wash my hair before the conference and get ready in one and a half hours. Honestly, I do get anxious when I present in front of people. But what I find useful is if I feel good about my physical appearance, then I also feel confident when I'm presenting. So it affects my mindset and performance positively. That's why I want to look put together and wash this hair. But before washing my hair, I always try to do some kind of exercise because hair washing is a trigger cue for exercising in my mind. If you read the Atomic Habits, you know what I'm talking about about but there is this habit stacking phenomenon so you link a habit you want to develop like exercising with the habits you already have like hair washing and this helps me to regularly exercise and I've been doing this for the last two years <sighs> so warm already So red. I just want to get in the shower, wash my hair, wash my body, and be nice and clean for the conference. Super happy that I exercised. So I've been using kids shampoo and conditioner bars because they're bottle free and environment friendly. First I emulsify the shampoo bar before I put it on my hair so it properly gets rid of the sweat and dirt from the run. You get your money's worth with these bars because one bar should last you 100 washes. So you also save two plastic bottles with this one bar, which is amazing. And it's cruelty-free, vegan, and it has no sulfate, parabens, or phthalates. For me, I have naturally textured and frizzy hair. That's why I especially love their conditioner bars. It makes my hair soft and moisturized and calms down the frizz. I just apply the conditioner bars like I'm painting my hair, as you can see here. It's also rice water-based, which helps with hair growth and strengthening. You can use the link in my description box or my code to get 25% off your first order. They ship in the US and internationally to over 27 countries including the UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. Thank you to Kitch for sponsoring. My hair feels super soft since I sweat. I forgot the most important thing. I'll need to put as much deodorant as I can because I know I'm going to sweat so much. I try to present myself as smart as possible. I'm just wearing a blank white white leg, black trousers. <laughs> no. 
I'm so warm. You would think as a Mediterranean person, I'd be able to deal with UK warm weather, but no, no. Before I start studying for the last exam of the year, I'm going to watch some Netflix. Or I might just nap. Oh my god, yes. Maybe we could go get some like kebab. Come. Hi. <laughs> How was your oski? I didn't used to pass this oski. It kind of relieves the stress because I passed like all the other oskis. Yeah. But I still kind of feel. I want to do well, but also you can relax a bit. It's the last exam of the year. She's finished, by the way. She's finished with med school. Like, <laughs> you'll get that all the time. I haven't seen a camera before. I can't be a oh YouTuber or whatever. It's stressful, man. I wish I had more spice. We can ask you spice. I don't want to bother with Oscar revision time. Yeah. Bye. In less than 14 hours, I will be a free woman. Tomorrow, I have my last practical exam of medical school ever. They're called OSCEs. Actually, all the other medics, except us fourth years, are finished. So we're closing off the exam season this year. Because it's the last exam, I feel more pressure to do well because I don't want to ruin anything last minute, but hopefully I'll be okay. I usually practice with friends for this exam because one of us can act as a patient whilst the other one can act as a doctor, vice versa. But depending on the friend I practice with, it can actually cause more distress and confusion and stress rather than help me in my learning. So over the years I've learned to practice with a few friends who I know their style of group work and the friends who will give me constructive feedback. And considering how less time I have until the exam tomorrow, it will be more efficient for me to practice with a fake patient. Afterwards I'll practice some history taking with my flatmate James anyway. Hello, I'm Zeha. I'm one of the fourth year medical students. Is it okay if I have a chat to you about what's brought you in here and examine you as well? Yes, of course, dear. Thank you. Could I just confirm your name and date of birth, please? Maria Bear, 22nd of the 11.39. I'm pretty old. All right, lovely to meet you, Maria. Can I have a look at your mouth now? All right, say ah for me. Ah. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to have a quick listen as well. Lovely, thank you. Hi. Uh, hello. I'm done practicing for now. I don't think I'm going to feel anything tomorrow morning because I can already feel the stress coming over me. I'm just going to focus on going through everything really quickly before the exam. Okay. See you guys on the other side and wish me luck. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Happy. Finally. I'm so happy. Can't wait to go home. <laughs> So, so, so happy and grateful that it went well. An hour ago, we were in Oskis and now we're free women. It's that feeling of what's next. There is nothing next and it feels great.